everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Mardu Aristocrats. I think we've only played this deck one time on stream, I believe, so far, maybe twice uh, since War of the Spark. Um, but it's it's been really nice. The Cruel Celebrant and Dreadhorde Butcher really added a lot to this deck. And of course, Soren Vengeful Bloodlord as well. I remember like last time I was playing, I'm still kind of toying around with like the sideboard with this deck. It's This is a pretty difficult uh deck to sideboard with because you have like um like your game one plan is like what you're trying to do all the time and everything so this is what i'm going with here i'm going with more to sparks uh than i think i had previously uh because of wilderness reclamation want to be able to exile those reclamations so it's like it's like a really good disenchant for wilderness reclamation of course because it exiles it but then it can also get rid of some problematic stuff like lyra dawnbringer for example if you happen to face any kind of deck with those kind of cards. I know last time that we played this, we played against a lot of matchup where Priest of Forgotten Gods wasn't so good, and I still love this card. Of course, that's what I was saying during the time, but I remember a lot of people were kind of saying that maybe we should be taking out Priest of Forgotten Gods for something else, you know, maybe like uh, Tithe Taker or um, something from like, or, like in that uh, range there. I guess probably Tithe Taker. Uh, but I still want to keep playing the Priest. Um, Another card that I'm still not sold on is Footlight Fiend, and if it's better than Fanatical Firebrand. Footlight Fiend, of course, is a lot better when you have Priest in play and you get to activate your Priest and sacrifice your Footlight Fiend because then it's going to deal multiple damage. But Firebrand on its own not only has the haste, it can get that damage in right away, uh, but you can just activate it immediately, like whenever you play. You don't need Priest with Firebrand. You can like activate it and have your Cruel Celebrant or get your extra Judith Trigger and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so I remember last time, there was a couple of times where if our Footlight Fiend was uh, Fanatical Firebrand, it would have been a lot better for us. And I remember one game in particular, we would have won if it was just Firebrand. So that's that's going to be one more that I'm going to keep my eye out on. Um, it says I have 59, because there's three Celebrants in here. Get that fourth Celebrant back. There we go. But let's try it out. So uh, we are... Restarting with our ranked stuff, uh, we did a little bit of ranked yesterday. We're at Platinum Tier 3 um, because the season just re reset, so we're not in Mythic anymore. So we got to get back up to Mythic, so that's what we're going to do today. We got four really sweet decks to play. Uh, a couple new ones with Esper Legends and Teamer Midrange, which are going to be the next two decks. And then uh, I'm continuing to tune Grixis Control, and that will be our fourth deck of the day. All right. Ugh. Is Tibalt, hey, J. Jack Jr., is Tibalt good in mono red? It, it's probably okay in the sideboard. I think I think it could be a sideboard card against uh, a lot of the life gain in the format. I could see that. Hey, Zav. All right, let's get started. Ugh. It's like the one problem with this deck. The biggest problem is just... We play so many games with this deck where we have two of our colors and not the third. It's just, it's really unfortunate. Like, this hand is awesome if we just have, you know, a black source that we can throw down these Dreadhorde Butchers right away. But I guess I'm going to have to mulligan it. It's like my least favorite part about this deck is the inconsistencies there. Yeah, I've been having a lot of success with the Gruel deck. I, I tried the Gruel deck today with... I, want, I don't really want to full light fiend on turn two. Tried the gruel deck today with um, with putting the explore package in, and you know had good success with that. Also, I'm you know it's possible that the explore package is better than uh, the paradise druid, growth chamber guardian, and the extra one drop. Uh, yeah, that that one drop that grows. Yeah, Kefnet goes with the Demir discard deck. Yeah, Kefnet uh, has been a good card. Uh, it's a card that I've been... Ugh. We just had to draw that Soren right then. So I could get Thought Razor away. Why couldn't they have like Thought Razor last turn? I guess I they would have taken my Midnight Reaper, but then I would have drawn Soren for turn. Um, yeah, I've been impressed with Kefnet.
seemed like it's has seemed like the easiest god to play because of how strong blue cards are and it just kind of fits in very well there Let's see if, how far Dreadhorde Butcher can take us. They surveilled uh, into the graveyard there. Oh, that's a bad play. Ah, I should have kept that Clifftop Retreat because they play Bolus. Now I have to discard the Lava Coil. All right, good. It's not Bolus at least, but it could be worse. All right, I'd like a Soren, please. No. Nope. Still gonna have to discard Lava Coil to Bolus. Where's the other Bolus? I have a few openings for more minions. Um, I would be taking uh, Gruel if I played an approach to her tomorrow. Fury, witness a moat of my power. Yeah, really flooded out after the Mulligan. That first hand was just so close to being good if we could have just played it. Let's get all these Disparks in instead of Lava Coils and Mortify. And we'll get the extra couple Planeswalkers in. And I guess I should play some Duresses as well. What do I think about Priest of Forgotten Gods? Do I like Priest more than Footlight Fiend? I think so. Let's do this. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Mardu. There we go. We got good mana. We got all three colors. I like it. The most unfortunate thing that happened that last game was us drawing the Soren off of the Midnight Reaper and then them have the Thought Erasure to take the Soren. That, that was the, the play that really cost us. That last game. Hey, I know, man, you want new black zombies? Yeah, I have a... Have I made... I have a... I know I have a mono black aggro. Yeah, I'll be make cool. I'll make a new black zombies here soon. Nice. You've been playing a Mardu graveyard deck with uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Very nice. Can we please not flood out again? We're two for two in drawing lands so far. I really don't want any more lands. Three for three with drawing lands. Really holding up counter magic. What? I just put a stop on my end step so I could get that back. Ugh, come on. While they were casting the spell, I immediately was putting the stop on the end step so I could still get this back because they took damage. Do 
Rip off. Alright, I'm putting the stop on this time. In case they kill that thing. Naturally, there goes all our planeswalkers and our duress. Great. He's gonna get through some stuff through some planes or some uh, counter magic now. Bleh. No, I'm shouldn't play this or just giving them that counter spell that they've had. Wait. So I should I need to play Bantu and Aristocrats. Just feel like we're gonna I don't know, they'll just mill it over and make us discard it. We can't ever get one of our top end cards. Bleh. Just need to draw spells, not draw all the lands. Ugh. Tesa is not a good card. It's 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 honestly Tesa is not good enough for standard. It just doesn't it doesn't do very much on its own. All right, we got our curve. It's a two four for the two four body for four mana is is not worth playing at all. It's it can only um, man, this looks pretty great. We actually have like lands and spells. This is awesome. We haven't had like the whole lands and spells thing yet. Debating not attacking with a priest, but I think it's worth it. You know, they have like a lava coil for Judith. I don't think we need to like sacrifice in response kind of thing. Um. Yeah, no, I. Oh yeah, I've, t I've talked about fanatical firebrand quite a bit. Oh gosh, yeah, we were talking about that even at the beginning of the beginning of the stream here. Yeah, I, I like firebrand. Um. Yeah, I could definitely see Firebrand being better. I should be playing Dreadhorde Butcher here. Honestly, I should be playing Dreadhorde Butcher. I was just already in the... I was already in the... the Act of like playing my cruel celebrant, but I I should have played Dreadhorde Butcher. All right, so that's what our deck's supposed to do. We're supposed to hit our land drops and uh, play a bunch of spells, and that that makes magic a lot better when you got to get to actually play your spells. So against a green red aggro deck, 
I'm going to take out one Midnight Reaper, put in a Mortify. I don't want to do a whole lot. I think I'm going to do that and call it a day. Yeah, absolutely, Kush. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of information down below in the info panel about donations. Uh, however you want, you know, if you just want me to just do like the deck tech with it and talk about it on stream or if you want me to play it. Either one. And Judith does a really good job of taking out Llanowar Elves. You must be mad to tussle with I was me. raised by wolves. Yeah, it's, well, they might have also just it's nothing wolves. really that wrong with the... Like, there's nothing like the mana in this deck is good. It's just it's just really difficult to have like all the colors early. You know, you need like white, black early, red, black early, that kind of stuff. So if they blocked that, the Dreadhorde Butcher was going to be able to take out both Llanowar Elves. <laughs> yeah, Priest of Forgotten Gods is the only sack outlet in the list. This looks like my grill list. One damage here, one damage here, three damage there. Ooh, you think I'm just gonna let you pace me? What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. I mean, I, I should have got... I need to get Priest of Forgotten Gods in play earlier. But with Domri's fight ability... This is... Over. Alright, good hand. Hey, Skinny Fat Man, doing good. Doing good. Let's get this third Mortify in here. Hey, Storm.
mean, so I'm just going to be like a turn behind, I guess. But that's alright. We'll just keep the Foot Light Fiend here. And we're basically playing like we're on the draw. I'm a little surprised they didn't block that, to be honest. Yeah, it's still probably worth to to craft yeah, the check careful. lands. Uh, you know, oh you don't you probably don't need like all oh, ten, but like whatever deck that you like, being a free to play player, uh, I would recommend getting those the check lands for for that deck because it's still a long we're still a long ways out. From rotation, you know, that's still like five Can't months away. And you know, five months is just such a long time. We won't answer to other guilds. No, there's there's no there's no command for it. I mean uh, you can you can uh, that's like the donation link there um, the link is also wild beasts are your Raptor. the links also down below in the in the donate part uh, down there you know if you just click like the banner that says donate they are really like this is an anti aggro deck here that's gonna <clears throat> it's an unfortunate one for us to face. All right, these firebrands have just not done nearly enough to be worth a card. Or these footlight fiends. Footlight fiends have not been worth a card. Let's get firebrands in here. Firebrands can like, yeah, they they can do a whole lot more. Let's let's do that. You know, like we can actually take out land war elves and things like that. Seed of Axe with the sub again. Thank you so much. Um, I'm hoping June or maybe July to be back down there. So thank you so much, Seed of Axe. But yeah, maybe like the second week of June at the earliest. I'm going to update the deck list on Stream Decker. The Foot Life Fiends are easier easier to cast because they can be either one, but they're just not they're just not good. They have not been worth an entire card. Just Priest of Forgotten Gods. That stands for Dallas-Fort Worth. <laughs> Alright, Kachi. have the, the battlefield pretty stable. 
Hey, Aku Lol. Hey, Aku. Looks like our opponent's got a tough decision. What to do? Oh, nice. Uh, we just did a, a little bit yesterday, but not not very much. This is like today is like our first day of like, playing some of the new stuff. Really like to draw Soren. A Soren would be nice. Huh. That is a little confusing. So, getting some of our life gain stuff in here. I'm going to take out Mortify. I'm going to take out the Midnight Reapers. I'm just going to take out all the Midnight Reapers, put that Mortify back in. Yeah, Soren is crazy good when we actually get to play it and, and everything. Honestly, maybe I should just be playing 4. You know, like we... Um, you know, like all of these games, we have never had a Soren in play. You know, like we just we never get to have a Soren in play. Like the only times we've drawn them, they've been thought or Azured away. But yeah, it is it is crazy good. Honestly, I should probably just have four of them in the deck. That was a tough one to mulligan with the... I guess. With the double Othakaya. Okay, cool. Let me know how the Hydra deck's going. So my plan turn two is Lava Coil. I don't really feel like shocking. But I'm going to Lava Coil that thing. And then turn three we'll have like Gutter Bones plus something else or just Gutter Bones. Yes, the card styles for this month are Terramander and Incubation Druid. Yeah, the Kai is definitely good. It's it's great in especially in this kind of matchup. There are two light of the stages hit four lands. It's unlucky. Hey, Kush. Alright, that's your that's your Mardu graveyard deck. Awesome. Alright, I'll be taking a look at it um, after. All right, after we play here, after I you know get done recording the YouTube video, we'll take a look at it and check it all out and everything. Thank you so much. I feel like just playing this uh, Johnny. Hey, Salvatas. my friend. Deliver us to victory. Thanks for that resub there. Where are my hat boats? There we go. Are you finished? Oh, uh, so the, the, this. the Simic deck is not doing good in best of one. I could see best of one being kind of tough for it, honestly. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Yeah, 
Yeah, Johnny just gained his four life. That's good. And now he gets to pump these things up. So I'll take it. Yeah, green-based mid-ranges are just really difficult in best of one. Without having a sideboard and with having the hand fixing that, that it has. It does make those decks a lot worse. Oh, is Ral Combo the new thing that people are doing best of one now? Be strong. I don't I don't play best of one myself, so I don't I don't have like a recommendation of decks that are good in best of one. I am sorry. I must go. It doesn't really matter if we're slowing them down a little bit. If we can't ever stop this chain whirler, we're just gonna we're just dying a little bit slower, but we're still dying. Your side. There's more work to do. <laughs> yeah, like we just traded a Johnny for a shock. And three life. It's just not a Still not like a great trade for our four mana planeswalker. Go on without me. You should be flattered. I decided my friend is here to help your pain. So I can play Soren, tick up, deal one to them, and pick up Gutter Bones. I don't really know like where I'm going with that. I think I'll wait a turn. Let let them minus this Tibalt again. I need to draw like Deafening Clarion to sweep this board. They're so cute. Let me remind you. To then we'll kill the tip all. Maybe I need the Midnight Reaper still just for the card advantage. <laughs> Pathetic. May death find you quickly. I'll get the Chandra in here. Yeah, let's switch out those Ajani's for Chandra and Angrath. Yeah, Chandra and Ang like if if those two Ajani's were Chandra and Angrath, that would have been a lot better. You know, Angrath killing the Chain Whirler, um, Chandra finding more cards and then taking damage. Yeah, I I should have made that switch the first time. Learning another one lander. We're gonna have to Mulligan. That looks really good, just like just like last game. I guess so. Yep. It's not looking good here, Kachi. 
Well, they're on five cards at least. Can't cast that. We only have two cards in our hand we can cast though. I have not tried Bantu in the shell. Bantu seems really expensive, but I don't know. We've we haven't I guess we haven't had that much trouble getting to five lands recently. Start to us not being dead. Yeah, we've had like one game this whole time where we've like curved out. Just not very many games. So if we're supposed to try Bantu in here, where where would Bantu fit? Let's see. I guess I guess we're taking out a Johnny. Johnny hasn't been that good. So if we take out the Ajani's, go with a fourth Soren and a Bantu. Alright, we'll try that. You know, Bantu wouldn't have done anything for us that game, but... Alright, I'm going to edit this on Stream Decker. Alright, another one lander. Hey, we got, we got two lands and good mana. That's an anomaly. All right, one uh, God Eternal Bantu. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get there, Kachi. <laughs> yeah, the other um, Mario list that that uh, J53 put up here. I'm looking at it. It's a lot. It goes a lot bigger, and I get to, it kind of seems like that may just be the way to go. It's just so hard to get like to actually curve out with these different colors.
Row three, we've been making changes. So there's hope. That's some stuff can turn this around. Yeah, the slower versions worked better for you. I could see that. Uh, I know, like with the the aggro version, like we're playing right now, is this this kind of matchup, the red matchup, last format was what I really couldn't beat. But you know, this format we had like Othakaya to help us out a little bit. But mono red is still like this is still our, our worst matchup. We just keep you know this is the second time we played against mono red, and then we had the the gruel mid range or like that gruel aggro. Sorry, also that had really good. A really good hand like the the other aggressive decks that can really kill us quickly is what we're going to struggle with and that's been th three of our four matches so far so this is not a particularly nice showing for our deck Maybe I should just be playing Bantu there, because they can't really kill Bantu. They can kill these things, though. The decks that go small like this, like the red-black decks that go small, I I feel like it's best to kind of be two colors. Like, maybe it's best to be two colors, where we just need to be red-black or black-white and kind of, like, pick a lane. It's... As we've seen here, a lot of times, like we've had two of our colors, and it's just so hard being a three-color deck when you need all of your colors immediately. So, if I double block, what's like the what can they do? So they shock one of my things, and then I put the damage on Steamkin, and then they kill my other things. So, yeah, now we'll just take this. Do we get to gain life with this thing? No, just draw cards. Lame. Deal with these electrostatic fields. Why do we have to be an anti aggro aggro deck? Why do we have to keep playing against those? Start by killing this team, Ken, and doing a lot of damage to the opponent. Love drawing the Soren. That was a card I wanted to find. Give this God Eternal Bond to Life Link. Yes, please. All right, I'm I'm starting to dig this Bond to. Maybe this is the card that we're missing. I 
How do we draw so much? I sacked six permanents. So we drew six cards. And now we can give the Bantu lifelink. The ring of my sword is your death knell. And get this Judith back. Accept the darkness within. Make it six power. With menace. Ooh, just taking it. Well, that's game. Okay, we're we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Let's get the Chandra in and the Oath of Kai. Let's get all the Mortifies in too, actually. Let's get all the removal in. Yeah, all the removal. Removal and Planeswalkers. What card am I taking out? Probably Priest. I guess I'm taking out Priest. Yeah. Again, let's get some Duresses in here too. Okay. This looks good. Let's retry. Yeah, I liked it, Avengers Endgame last night. Yeah, yeah, I won't, won't spoil anything about the movie, of course, but I liked it. Yuck. Yet another one lander to Mulligan. So we need two Bantus in here. What are we taking out for the second Bantu then? Oh, which one was which movie was better, Endgame or Affinity Wars? Or Affinity War? I think I liked Affinity War better. There's a few things that, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, so I don't want to say, but there's a, a few things with Endgame that bothered me, like, uh, timeline-wise. There you go. That one. Yeah, I like to I like Affinity War more. <laughs> so Arcanist next turn can recast a shock. Ugh. Drop one of the Midnight Reapers. Okay, I could see that. I see taking a Midnight Reaper out of the deck. Now, I, I'm glad that we're moving up to the fourth Soren because we just. Our deck's a whole lot better when we draw Soren than when it, we don't draw Soren. And I'm thinking four Sorens is worth it. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I need that gutter bones. Ugh. That chain whirler is going to kill us. I liked. I, I thought we were in a great spot until that chain whirler. Uh, chain whirler is so good against my deck. <laughs> I feel nothing anymore. You're doing good with the grill deck, very nice. That chain whirler killed me. I thought I was winning that till that. Till then. So I have all these removal spells in, all these Mortifies, Othakaias, Deafening Clarions. I need all these ways to kill Chain Whirler. Of course I need to draw him too. Chain Whirler is mean. Yeah, we've played it. Yeah, we've had Kefnet in a lot of the blue-black decks that we've played so far. Um, it, it has looked really good because of how good blue is. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we play if we just can't if we just can never keep a seven card hands. I don't we just can't ever keep seven card hands. Like what are we supposed to do? Every hand's a mulligan. And this is a this is the kind of deck that needs every single one of its cards. This is not the kind of deck that has like the card advantage to make up for mulliganing a bunch. I'm playing 24 lands in here. I just want like two or three in my opener. That's it. I'm not like asking for a ton. There's just no reason to play in this. Yeah, there's always VODs of the stream. Um, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, there's VOD. Yeah, always VODs of the stream. And I'll, yeah, you have to work in an hour. I'll, I'll begin to your deck within an hour. Um, all right, what are we going to be doing here? So if we want, I guess we want this extra bond too. Taking out a Reaper, and am I supposed to be putting a 25th land in here? Then? I don't know, let's just try it with the two Bontus. Let's hopefully not get paired against a Chain Whirler deck. All right, well, we got lands, but, you know, if we draw, like, another two lands, we're just dead, because we'll flood out. Ugh. Let's see how we do. Of course, we draw land number six immediately.
I don't think we can... You have to have a lot different deck to play Liliana. To play a 6 mana card. You have to really change the deck. You, you can't have like a deck like this with Liliana. Yeah, at least this time we didn't have a one land hand to mulligan like we've had so many times. I am Tamio. It is an honor. Let me aid your research. And there we go. We ended up drawing our two lands, and we're dead. No one asked for your input. Six loyalty is so much loyalty. This card is very good. Seek and find. Of course, with Tamio out, I, Priest doesn't make them sacrifice that O3 anyway. Come on, opponent. We don't really have a chance to win here. Just just play something or just pass the turn. Just do something. Come on. Oh, this is miserable. That was a tough choice. And play your land. There you go. is impolite. There's nothing we could draw. Hey, what's up, Kachi? <laughs> Thanks for still subbing, even though I couldn't win. Thank you very much. Alright, so we'll get... All of the duresses, all these disparks, the mortifies, handgrath. We don't really need Soren too much here. I mean, it does get to like you know tick up to do like one damage, but that's not really that important. Now there's priest of forgotten gods. So I guess we're going with this. Oh, get these lava coils out of here too. I guess I'm playing Chandra and playing. I guess I'm playing a Soren and a one Soren, one Bantu. <laughs> yeah, that's me and, and the. Me and Hawkeye in the hype boat there. This has been our day here. You know, we're missing red mana now, but like this curve, gutter bones, butcher Judith. That would be awesome.
We had one good aggro draw of like curving out in these five matches. We've had one. I don't know how many mulligans we've had, but it's <clears throat> probably over 10 so far. That's gotta be over 10. Maybe close to 15. No, I don't have any Bedevils in the deck. Hmm. The moon looks intriguing tonight. Our deck's not playing... Our opponent's not playing Team or Nexus. This is just... This is Simic Nexus. The past is never forgotten. I have learned all I can here. Yeah, Tamio has made this deck just even more ridiculous. Firebrand a whole lot better than Footlight Fiend. I'm glad we made that change. I think it's just a good change anyway. Yeah, that was miles better than what a Footlight Fiend would be. So yeah, Memorial Genius is just a draw two. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So yeah, they block the Midnight Reaper there to prevent four. They would still take, I just add that up, they still take 10 plus the, the Judith trigger, so that was lethal. All right, we did it. We won a game. So now can we win a match? Is Lava Coil going to be better than Bantu? Possibly. Like Bantu's just got to be too slow in this matchup, right? I guess, no, let's keep the Bantu, because we could just be chilling with Cruel Celebrants and Judiths in play, and then Bantu, we could get to sack and do all the triggers and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll just do that. 
<laughs> He's still yet to beat Nexus since War of the Spark came out. Ugh. It's so tough. Oh, do I have 61 in there? Good. We need 61. We need to switch it up. The 60's not working. We need a new game plan. Oh, I took out to Spark instead of Lava Coil? No, I did not want to take out to Spark. No. To Spark is so... That's the reason why to Spark's in our sideboard is for this matchup. No. Take my time a little more, I guess. I clicked quickly. All right, opponent. Any 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 time now. Any time. Hmm. If only that was to spark in my hand and not coil. Man, this would be like perfect if that was to spark. That's gonna cost us. The stupid grazer. I guess I'm gonna be able to coil that grazer. And there's a to spark. Have a storied battle worth to the library. Tamiyo, so good. My research has been compromised. The Grazer has been amazing for our opponent this game. Like without Grazer. Dueling you will be excellent research. Well, I, hmm. I can't deal with this now. I know I noted this somewhere. Only play one spell. Going Chandra gives us the best chance to double spell next turn. What? My hair is on fire. Let's light it up. Because you know, want want to hit another land drop next turn. Chandra can help us do that. And I'd still rather have to, you know, if this was to spark, I would just be to sparking the Tamiyo again. I think but Lava Coil and the Grazer doesn't notes. really give me a lot of places. So next turn, hopefully we can play Judith and Lava Coil the Grazer. Alright, there we go. Good thing we saved this Lava Coil. We have to Lava Coil that thing. You burning. And no reason not to attack previously. We were attacking. It's possible our opponent didn't block. Let me aid your research. Any of those times, it would be a lot better for us if they didn't block. I 
mean, they could just minus Tamiyo and grab Biogenic Ooze and, I, and I'm dead. I have the metal hey, Quip Toothbrush and I, and I love it. Stop interrupting me. <clears throat> yeah, I, I have the metal one and it's awesome. I have learned much from my ancestors. Um, is it like a notification, Balding Yeti, like in the chat that you can... Well, that was a disaster. Maybe you have a notification to to show that to say that you resubbed. Techstar is gifting a sub to Sean. Santa Techstar, thank you so much. So they've not found a wilderness reclamation yet, which is really good for us. Block with the O3. Oh, there are more than 20 cards in. They're half their library so far. But they got these three Memorial to Geniuses, so they're going to just be able to keep drawing. Attack. This is the kind of time where Bantu would just end the game. Yeah, actually, you know, if we would have just drawn a Bantu here with all with the, the Judith and Celebrant triggers, we would have just ended the game.
Yeah, can we please get a Bantu top deck, please? Considering the double block. Yeah, I'm going to double block. So I draw two cards with Midnight Reaper here. We can bring back the Cruel Celebrant with Soren still. But basically we're trading Judith to draw the two. But getting that 4-4 four, four out of here. Uh, USA Hyena. Welcome to the channel. So number seven on the day. We've been switching cards up though in the deck. It's it's been looking better recently. One mana short from having this mortify up to kill a reclamation if they found it. So I'm not sure if I should have Mortify available for a Reclamation or kill the Krasis. I take one hit from the Krasis. It's basically going to matter to see if they have just like Nexus. I'm guessing they just have Nexus for how they're doing this attack. But do they have Reclamation also? They could be playing Reclamation here and like relying on Reclamation to cast the Nexus. Yeah, the Grazer has been insane in this match against these Dreadhorde Butchers. They've been so good. Of course, all these Biogenic Oozes, too. You've been going just Orzhov with the deck? Yeah, Orzhov has a good interaction for the Wilderness Reclamations with the, the Disparks and the Mortifies. They have another Nexus.
Hmm. So I can play the Midnight Reaper and then draw two with the Firebrand. Or just draw one with it right now. Oh, come on. I took two of my red sources with that auto tap. Shuts off Judith from being the draw I want. Oh, that was a really bad auto tap. Yeah, I could have. Yeah, I could even sacked Firebrand, kill a, a butcher, and deal even more. That doesn't sound so bad still. Let's draw some cards. Let's see if we find, like, Mortify. Azure with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome. So number eight on the day. All right, really, some good pickups here for us. How many root snares are over here so far? One. That's the second root snare. Gosh, this lag is terrible. Yesterday the lag was really bad too. Now it's, it's bad again today. You're good, Matthew. There's the fourth memorial to genius. I'm trying. I'm trying some stuff here to to work on that lag problem. Um, <laughs> Vendor's four was good. It, I don't think I didn't like it as much as the previous Avengers movie. Um, but yeah, it was it was certainly good. I enjoyed it. I I did enjoy it. But yeah, so it was, I wouldn't say it's the best movie ever.
All right, so we went 0 and 5 with Mardu Aristocrats. Uh, not a good start at all. Um, yeah, just not not a good league for us. However, I think we did make good changes to the deck. I think that the fire firebrand was awesome, and that should maybe just be a four of. It's possible that pre this is just not a meta game for Priest of Forgotten Gods. Maybe it's not. Maybe you just need to move away from Priest of Forgotten Gods completely. Just like last time, this time Priest of Forgotten Gods never did anything that was worthwhile. And yeah, maybe the deck just needs to go a lot bigger. Um, uh, yeah, so we have another Mardu graveyard deck we're going to talk about here a little bit off the YouTube video that looks like it's going a lot bigger. But yeah, God Eternal Bantu was really cool. I liked that card. Um, Dispark and Mortify are awesome. Yeah, so maybe we need to move away from Priest. I don't know. Like, basically, we could just go a lot bigger with the deck. You know, we could be playing like Rekindling Phoenix and Seraph for the Scales and and Big Liliana and just you know go to, like a Mardu mid range. Like you know that maybe that's just like a thing to be doing instead of trying to be so aggro because our mana base was just so bad. We just mulliganed all the time. It's, I mean, it's not like our, our mana base is that bad, it's just all of our draws were so bad. Like, you know, we had we had one landers, I think four times we had, it's, our opening seven was one lander less that we just had to mulligan. Um, we just never kept sevens and, you know, whenever we have like a five land, like twice had like those in our seven and I'd keep it with like having the good amount of lands and we'd just draw more lands. It was just uh, the kind of thing is we don't we don't have the card advantage here too much. You know, we were relying on Reaper, and now we have Bantu, but we just didn't have, like, the card advantage to kind of pull ahead and everything. And if we only curved out a couple of times, and if we weren't curving out, we weren't winning kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, like, replacing... Even just like this list, re replacing Priest of Forgotten Gods with something like Tithe Taker could be the way to go. I wanted it like with the Sack Outlet. Um, Cruel Celebrant was okay, but not really that impressive. Like the one two body doesn't really matter. And if we're not sacrificing things, then like the lose one life, gain one life doesn't really matter that much. You know, it doesn't get to do anything in combat. This has been a, this was really a disappointing card for us overall. Somebody in chat says that no, no, never Tasa. Never, no, never, ever, ever Tasa. Anyway, somebody else in chat says they've, they're running just Orzhov Aristocrats without the Priest got through gold. And another person says that they are just playing Orzhov. Um... Last format, last format I played, or I had an Orzov Aristocrats deck last format, and and Rakdos. Yeah, like I liked I liked Orzov and Rakdos more than the three colors. See, here's an here's an Orzov Aristocrats that I had last format. Um, you know, that's before like new additions. I liked the two color decks last format, but like with, I've been wanting to try the three with Celebrant and Butcher. I like both of these cards a whole lot, but it just kind of seems like we can't do it. it. It really does seem like we need to be two colors. Our mana base is just, with the three colors of trying to have all three colors right away, our, our mana base is just not very consistent. So, you know, back to the drawing board and everything. And there we go. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, um, hope you learned some stuff like we did throughout the video. Uh, you know, it's not always about winning all your matches. It's about, you know, finding out the cards, especially with all these new things, the cards that you really want to be playing. I uh, definitely love Firebrand much more than than uh, the other card, um, Footlight Fiend, in a deck like this. And Bantu was pretty impressive. I liked Bantu and, you know, just love Soren. But I could see getting rid of Red. You know, like Red, we have the Firebrand, the Lava Coil, the Judith. Our sideboard cards with Red aren't really that amazing i mean the thing is butcher and judith are awesome but you know you just make it a lot more grindy of a deck if you go black white um but of course we have like that other orzov mid-range list i've been playing recently 
The other thing is you could go get rid of white, and you could just go Rakdos. Like, if you want to just go aggro, just maybe just go Rakdos, because Butcher and Judith are just so good, and just we can lower the curve. And and uh, I actually like Chandra quite a bit, and that that could be really good in just a, an aggro deck of just going black-red, uh, because every time they attack Chandra, we could be dealing the damage upstairs. So that's another option there, too. But there we go. All right, so thank you for watching Mardu Aristocrats. Um.